everybody welcome back it's Saturday and I actually just got back from work I did shower so this is why I look so fresh right now I did work from 9 to 2 doing a lot of different projects at on campus so if you want a sneak peek uh, stay tuned so here are the notebooks that I bought I bought about a hundred notebooks in four different colors but I really only need three different colors Here's where I have them stacked until I put the labels on them. And once I put the labels on them, I'll be able to um, have the kids write their names on it and then put them in their uh, boxes. So I have three notebooks and the yellow one is going to be for the social studies interactive. Blue is math and green is science. So I'm in the process of making the labels right now. <clears throat> and I just do it on Microsoft Word. The directions were in that mailing labels packet and this is what they look like nothing I do is very flashy so they're just very plain looking labels but I can't wait to put them on Here are the math buckets I need to take care of for the centers. I really only need to do chapters 1, 2 right now. Um, but I'd love to have them ready for my sub when I do go on maternity leave. So I'm going around. I do not think I'm going to get to this at all. Like, at all. I might have to keep those little buckets, those screen buckets there for the genres. And, I don't know, try to do a little each week, but this is not a priority. So if I come here to the student station, I did get a lot done, but I still need to uh, put in the papers in the fluency folder. And the same for the calendar math. So I have this for each month. I'm going to switch it out and the kids are actually going to write down stuff for calendar math. And I can share the resources that I bought on TPT later. I did get the interactive journals started. And I'm kind of excited to use that. Yay. So that's all ready. Um, let's see. I finished my filing. Yay. Okay, here is something I need to take care of. These folders were all from last year. And they weren't as effective as I thought they would be. And so I'm going to switch it up. And I'm going to have student data binders individual ones instead of having all students in one folder that was just way too crammed for me and I'm also going to have this bucket down here for student um, portfolio work for all the subjects and so I have to write their names and then put in the folders for each subject and this table is pretty much done here I have stuff that like these need to be glued on colorful paper and then laminated those need to be put in my sub uh, sub box which I need to create these I need to be stapled or created into books or centers um, but none of this is like, priority uh, so I have to put away my math curriculum books and I if you can tell I took off some of the calendar stuff calendar math time stuff that I bought from Lakeshore. I realized that it was not, la um, I couldn't use a dry erase marker on it. So I kind of freaked out and I took it down. I need to go la laminate them and then post them back up. So I'll show you the updated version later. I have my posters with poems here. I need to figure out a way to store them. I think I'm going to put them on hangers and then hang them off of that so this side is pretty much done. Let's go to the writing center. For the writing center, I need to buy these clips and put them for all the students. And then I'll be done with that. This is pretty much done. Pretty much done. Oh, over here, once I erase this craziness, on the bottom half of that whiteboard, I want to create a space for like a daily um, message letter to the students. So we go through and read the letter together and we, and I get to like teach them like little mini lessons based on whatever is written. So I'm really excited about that. So I need to do that. Um, that's about it. Is that it? 
Oh, let me show you. Okay, so I have, let me turn back around. Okay, so this is a new area that I've created for calendar math time. So here's the rug that the students are gonna sit on for calendar math, that's on that board. Um, but I also am gonna create like a little teacher station here. So that's gonna be the, the board for shared writing. And then here I have to buy a chair and put it. Um, but on this table, I want to put all the like uh, things I'm going to need just on a daily basis when I sit here for math and for the shared writing. Um, so I have to figure out what needs to go there and make it not look so cluttered. But I'm very excited about this part uh, because I like to have different parts of the room for different purposes. So when the students are in like a certain area, their mind knows that they're going to be doing math instead of... Um, being on that one rug doing all subjects all day. So I'm really 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 excited Yay, so I'll keep you updated That's it So I'll keep you updated uh, As I go through and update some stuff God willing everything works out fine Okay, so an hour has passed and I got a few things done. Let me show you. So for the fluency folders, I was able to make copies um, of reading strategies to put in. And then for the calendar math folders, I made more copies to put in for the month of August. Of course, the books have not been touched. So let's go back this way. Okay, so I created a subfold subtub. Um, and I filled it with some resources. I need to take some of those out. And I still have to fill more, but I, I figured I'll do it like with time because I don't plan on being out very soon. And then I also organized my uh, small group reading literacy centers. Um, so when I'm with the students at this table, sorry, it's a mess right now. Um, I have everything that I need or will need. So I have my, over there I have my two like mini books for phonics. I have all the leveled readers that I'll be reading. And then I have more treasures readers that I'll be reading. And then in that little basket I have pencils, like anything, pencils, crayons, highlighters, um, pointers. Let me show you the pointers. They're so cute. I got these, I think, from the dollar store. Uh, I think eight of them for a dollar, and so they're awesome. And then I also have these two little baskets. And the baskets have, one basket has the, let me see if I can focus. Okay, so this basket has all the sight words that we go through throughout the year. And each of these sets has ten lists. And so if the kids can read it, then... Um, if they can read an entire list, they go to the next list and they stop when they can't read one of the words. And then I just give them a little sticker if they pass a list. And then, of course, I move their clip up from the will you unlock the next word list. So I need to make clips for those. Okay, let's see. What else? Oh, I managed to snag a different table. So I don't have a circle table anymore. For this back area, I actually have this shape table, which I like better because it's thinner um, and it's more angular, so it's not going to be sticking out in between here. Okay, I also made copies. Okay, so I also made copies for the data binders. So I got some sheet protectors, data binder covers. Um, more covers and then the spine and I put 12, 10 or 12 binders over there so I'll probably have a couple students per binder um, it's just all I had in the classroom and I'm fine with it so let's get started with putting these together okay so I'm putting together binders for data folders um, I like to be lean and organized and not really waste a lot of time year to year so I'm doing maybe two people per binder and most of the things like the tab the writing tab uh, writing math and reading tabs will be in sheet protectors so I won't ever have to change them again and the only things I'll really have to change are the covers the spine and all the like reproducibles 
in the data binder. Now I also have a sheet list of my students, pen or marker, and a three hole puncher. And I'm just gonna get started and do this. Okay, so I finally got all the data binders together. Here is one example. So I open it up, cover, and I have little tabs right here with the kids' names on it. So I could just flip straight to them. And I got the tabs from my United Cent store. And then in each sheet protector, I have one that says reading, writing, and math. And so that's where I'm gonna place all the sheets that I'm gonna have data on. So if you can tell, I did not get everything done by that crazy list that I had going. Um, so I'm not going to freak out and stress out just because it's not going to do me any good if I do that. And so my goal is to just go back on Monday and work on three specific things that are like major priorities and trying to get it done. If I don't get it done, that's okay. I'll just keep doing it until I finish. So yeah, that's about it. Hopefully the next video is going to be a little bit more fun. I want to do a what's in my bag. So look forward to that. Until next time.